Howdy everyone, Jace for with my latest custom build. It is a large Lego travel trailer. Let's take a closer look. Have large windows, one for the bedroom and one for the kitchen. We have a vent for the stove and two vents for the refrigerator. Here we have door into the trailer. A grab bar to help get up inside. We do have a step that does fold out as well as four stabilizer jacks. These can be brought down. The front does have a set of propane tanks and a front stabilizer jack. This can be raised up when towing. We have a fake awning. This doesn't function. Too bad I could not have figured out a way to get this to work. That would have been cool. Got a porch light. Here's the rear with rear brake lights and a ladder to get up to the top. Large bumper. I did incorporate a tile for a license plate. Here we have the side with the hookups. One for water and one for electric. On all four corners, we do have reflectors as well. It is a nice travel trailer. Here is the top. This does remove. Let's take a closer look at the interior. Before we can take a look at the interior, here is the top. We have two air conditioners and two opening skylights. The top of this does snap in place with two studs. These do open up. Not a whole lot of room inside until we bring out the slide outs. These are very easy. Everything just slides out real easily. Plenty of room inside. We have the bathroom, the galley kitchen, eating area, little living room, and a bedroom. Let's take a closer look at each. On the left, we do have the entry. Here we have our galley kitchen, an oven stove with a hood. I wanted to give it more of a industrial feel. On the right we have a refrigerator that does open. There's nothing inside. It is my first attempt to make a refrigerator. Here we have the sink, some drawers that do open up. Upper cabinets, these don't function. Here we have a sofa and a booth for eating. I wanted to brighten up the inside a bit, so I did use bright colors. I did use dark green, lime green, and regular green. Here we have the bedroom. I was trying to flow the color scheme from the booth and the couch to the bed. The bedroom just consists of just a bed. Finally, we have the small bathroom. This does actually have a shower tub, a sink, and a toilet. That was a challenge to put together. But overall, the interior of this travel trailer is nice, even complete with hardwood floors. Here's the side with the slide outs. Had a little bit of a problem with two windows close together. That could not have been avoided. I have large windows. 
Looks pretty good. Everything does fold up nice. The top does easily go back on. I had an issue with the top. As you can see, it is dipped in in the middle. So that's why I had to use two studs to hold it down. Close the vents on top. Bring up our stabilizers. Let's give it a little road test. Hitching the travel trailer to the dually pickup truck is a breeze. Simply raise up our front stabilizer and slip it inside the receiver. It is a bit of a challenge to get this in. It's so long. Here we go. It does work fairly well. Solid construction. It does sit very flat. Everything's leveled off. This is a nice setup. I like it. This is one nice Lego travel trailer. Thank you for watching.